hey everyone welcome back to our channel today i'm going to show you how you can host your website in firebase so without wasting any time let's get started as you can see i created this website over here and i will going to host it into firebase for that i need to come over into search option and going to search for firebase and then going to click enter after then we're going to get this firebase.google.com so i'm going to click on the firebase after that here there is an option into the upper side called pricing if you click on that you can see here is a products option and here we can simply click on start now click on that and we're going to get started with a firebase project so for that i'm going to select it and going to enter your project name so i'm going to name it as my first project and accept the firebase terms and, and then click continue continue another time and click continue another time and right now you just need to select your analytics location so for that i'm from bangladesh that's why i'm going to select bangladesh over here here is a bangladesh click on i accept google's analytics terms and then create project as you can see they are preparing the project it will take some seconds to complete for that keep patience and as you can see they are showing that your firebase project is ready for that i am going to click on continue and right now we are in firebase dashboard and from here i can simply go for this build option as you can see here is a build and into the build option i have to go for the hosting so i am going to click on the hosting and from here we can simply click on get started and then as you can see install firebase cli here is a common prompt over here so how are you going to use it it's very simple first what we have to do we have to need to go for the file location where we added our index and style.css and from here i can simply add the cmd because we now need cmd for using the common prompt so here as you can see we need to copy this command over here i'm going to copy it and now i'm going to paste the command over here like this and then simply click on enter and after a little bit of time as you can see it's now loading so it will take some seconds to complete for that keep patience and right now as you can see that uh, the added 630 packages in 27 seconds and 70 packages are looking for funding so right now we need to go for our over here so ne next we need to click on this next and going to copy the first so i'm going to copy this first uh, comment and going to go for the cmd prompt and then simply paste it over here like this and simply click on enter after they will show you like this and they will asking you a question called allow firebase to collect cli and emulator suit use an error reporting information so i'm going to click on y and then click enter and click allow and then select my google chrome uh, google id and click allow and as you can see they are showing firebase cli login successful so if i now come over into cmd prompt as you can see they are showing success and logged in as made on shopno 148 at gmail.com so it successfully logged to my gmail over here so now what we're going to do we're going to copy the second one and paste it over here like this then simply click enter and right now they're asking another time a question and then we're going to click y and from here as you can see we are now looking for hosting so for that we're going to select host by simply using our arrow and then simply click space and then enter and they are asking please select an option use an existing project or create a new project so i'm going to select as use an existing project click enter and they are asking for select our default firebase project for this uh, directory so we're going to click enter and they are the hosting setup so what do you want to use in your public so for that what we can do we can simply create a new folder I'm going to save it as public then save it so right now we need to type over here public and then simply click enter 
and they are suggesting con configure as a single page app so i'm going to click it as n and then set automatic builds and deploys with getup if you want it to you can simply give y but i will not looking for it so after that they are saying firebase initialization is complete so now what we can do, we can simply click here next and then copy the next command over here. Then we can simply paste it over here and then click, click enter. And as you can see the hosting is going to complete and the deploy is complete. And now if we just click on this over here like if you just click on this or you can simply copy it. And then if you just paste it over here like this. You can simply come over in your website over here like this. So what we can do, we can simply uh, see this and after that, we can simply go for the first project and click on continue console. So as you can see, we added our website into Firebase by simply doing these steps. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you for another videos. Till then, goodbye.